What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we've got like a lot of really big news coming for the Digimon TCG. And I don't say this to try and upsell this video or anything like that. I mean, there's an awful lot of really big news coming. And we need to have a little bit of a chat about all of it. So... Let's get rolling, shall we? Shout out to the lovely Ensan Gaming and Jason Snowjacks here, who were the people that really made this nice and easy to make sense of and share the information, and were just generally awesome people, fans of all of them. So we might as well try and go in vague chronological order here. So starting off in March, for every 500 yen you spend, you are going to get one pack of a special distribution pack. Now, we don't really know very much about what this special distribution pack is. We know that there are six different types. And it seems like they correspond to red, yellow, green, blue, purple, and black. So, maybe it's going to be that there is one promo card of each color. Or a set of promo cards, two for whatever. And that you get one of them randomly assigned. But it seems like there are essentially six packs... One that matches each color in the Digimon TCG. And when you spend 500 yen on a product, you will get one pack. That's what's happening in March. And I wish we had more information. I really do. But as it stands at the moment, that's what we know. I think it is extremely fair to say that we are going to be getting one of each color. There are essentially going to be six different packs. We know they're going to be six different packs. That has been confirmed. But it seems fairly it seems fairly clear that they are going to be one pack per color. Outside of that, I really don't think there's much we can do in the way of predictions. For that, I am extremely sorry. You know that as soon as more information is revealed... I will be sharing it with you, lovely ladies and gentlemen. That's kind of my thing. That's kind of what I do. But as it stands at the moment, all I can tell you is we'll get these promos in March. Now, as for when we'll get them over here, all I can tell you is Bandai have been doing a really, really good job of getting the Japanese promos over to us. Whether they come as box toppers or promos or whatever, we do tend to get all of these over here so my my advice would be don't worry your pretty little head about it i'm sure we will get them at some point it's going to be fine now moving on from march we've got some lovely news concerning april and in april we are going to be getting starter decks for both dukemon gallantmon as it is over here and all force vidramon now one of the first things you're going to say here is, well, hang on a second, Wossy. Not only have we seen both Gallantmon and Old Force Vidramon before, but we have seen those Gallantmon and Old Force Vidramon before. That is the same artwork. Well, half of that sentence is true. Yes, that is the same artwork. No, we have not seen these dudes before. Essentially, what's happened, what happened was that they are using this, these artworks just to kind of show us what we're getting. They're using the artwork. Essentially, they are willing to say, hey, it's going to be Gallantmon and Old Force Vigemon. They're not willing to show us the cards yet. Again, as soon as they are, as soon as those cards are revealed, you know there will be videos on this channel covering all those cards exhaustively. It's kind of my thing. So we know they're coming, but essentially they weren't going to show us the cards. What they've done is gone, look, we're going to show you the Digimon. These are the two Digimon. Don't read into the artwork. It has been confirmed that they are going to be new cards with new effects. They are not going to be reprints. Although I can understand entirely why it's kind of confusing. <laughs> These are going to be new cards with new effects. We just know they're going to have Gallantmon and Old Force Vidramon on them. Now... You can imagine these are going to be very similar to the starter decks we've seen before. Each deck, here's what we know about them. You are going to get 54 cards in a pre-built deck with two memory gauges and one play sheet. And of course, the 54 card deck means a 50 card deck and a play set of four 
Digitama, DigiX, which is exactly what we've seen with starter decks before. The six starter decks we've seen have all had a 50 card deck and a playset of four Digitama. That seems to be the case here. Now, why are we getting two? Well, blatantly, this is the first of the second wave of starter decks. As it stands at the moment over in Japan and May time we over here, we have had one starter deck for each color. So it seems very, very much like what we are now going to get is six starter decks of each color again. So this is red and blue, who you could easily think of as the first two colors. For what it's worth, the red starter deck was starter deck one, and the blue starter deck was starter deck two. Which means that the next ones are going to be yellow and green, three and four, and then black and purple, five and six. So expect these to be the first of the second wave of starter decks. Expect yellow and green to come next and black and purple to come afterwards. We have no idea in terms of a timeline here, but given that they're releasing them as two rather than three, I don't think we can follow the previous timeline. I think it is going to be truncated. Honestly, I can imagine getting two of these every two or three months. That's not confirmed, but that seems like a pretty sensible prediction. Oh yeah, and they're also coming with six CP cards. What are CP cards? We have absolutely no idea. It is a new type of rarity. We don't know what it means. We haven't been told. I have absolutely no idea. For anyone that's wondering, the general rule is you get two super rare cards per starter deck. So to go back to the original red starter deck, we got two copies of War Greymon, which was the only super rare in that particular set. Not that that really means anything because it's starter deck exclusive. You know... Phoenix Mon was a rare, but you still only got two copies of it in the starter deck, making it exactly as rare as a super rare War Greymon. So, I don't know. To be fair, the markings, hollow, etc., are different between rares and super rares. So, that's why they ended up doing it that way. But still, what are these six CP rare cards going to be? We don't really know. Again, as soon as we have more information, I will be delighted to bring you a video about it. It will be a very enthusiastic video. I will be rather excited, I imagine. But that's what we know so far. Now, moving forward into May, there is going to be a Tournament Tamer promo pack. And in that Tournament Tamer promo pack, you are going to get four out of eight cards. Again, I, I wish I could tell you more about them. I can. The Tamers. So if you look at the top left one here, that is Tai Chi Pack. And then if you look at the top middle right, that is Mimi Pack. So clearly what you're getting here is going to be a pack with four Tamers in. There are going to be eight of these promo Tamers. You are going to get a pack with four of them in. Now, this seems to be at a shop battle event. So it seems to be that, like I say, I call them tournament tamer packs. It seems to be you go along to a tournament, you get a pack, it's got half of these tamers in. And that sounds kind of fun to me, honestly. Now, staying in May, and this is news that actually just came down this morning, we have got information about the next set, BT6, Double Diamond. It is going to be releasing on the 28th of May. And there are going to be 113 cards total. 44 common, 30 on common, 26 rare, 11 super rare, and 2 secret rare. Now, we did talk about this just the other day when we talked about BT5. And this is kind of interesting because it means that there is one more super rare than there was in BT5, but one less super rare and one less secret rare than BT4. So essentially, it is pretty much the same as BT5, but there is one more super rare. Okay, that sounds all right to me. It means it's not going to be the, the, the hardest set ever. Like I say, if we, if we go back to BT4, 12 super rares and three secret rares compared to 11 and 2, that is, shall we say, a little bit nicer and a little bit easier to go about. And then the usual 44 common, 30 uncommon, 26 rare. That is what we see in like every set. I would expect that to hold for a while. That seems to be pretty much nailed in at this stage.
What information do we have about Double Diamond? Well, it, it's literally it. It's 28th of May, 113 cards. Now, for those of you that are trying to pay attention and trying to figure out where we are going to be in relation to Japan, remember that we are getting BT4 as pretty much a straight reprint of Japan. Same name, same card, same everything, except our packs are bigger, as you know. And that seems to be coming in May which essentially puts us two sets behind Japan. We are going to be getting BT4 just a week or two before Japan gets BT6, which is going to leave us about two sets behind, which honestly is about what we are in Pokemon and does seem about right for a Japan to English translation. For anyone that's wondering, it's partially translation and it's partially logistics. Just getting the cards printed and out there, it's not as easy as you might think. And it's not just the cars, it's the packs and everything. Now, what does that give us in terms of an updated release schedule? Well, BT3 came around in October. We then saw BT4 two months later in December. But remember, BT3 was delayed, so I put an asterisk next to that one because you can't really trust it because that got delayed because of the pandemic. So we had BT4 in December, the 18th. BT5 is coming February the 26th. We're talking about two months, one week later. And then we're going to be getting BT6 in May, which is three months and two days later. So we don't have an exact real cadence to work through here, but it seems to be a two to three month gap. Essentially two sets every five months, which is going to put us at about five sets a year. Which again, for Japan, is about right. I know that seems like a lot for some people, but that is, it's about right. I mean, when you consider our Digimon packs are going to be 112 cards, but if you looked at the Pokemon trading card game, in English, you're looking at well over 200 cards per set. This does make sense. This does seem about right. I'm not going to today get into huge predictions in terms of what we're going to see and all of that stuff because all we have is a name double diamond if you've got predictions chuck them in the comment section maybe we'll have a prediction later but all we've got really is a release date and the ratios and a name which to be fair is quite a bit but that's what we know for now and then finally there is one more piece of news beginning to wish i'd maybe cut this into two videos but hey ho we got it all in in july there is the release of the Tamer Theme Booster. Now, don't read too much into this. This does not mean it's BT7. It is the Tamer Theme Booster. We don't know what this is. We've not seen this before in Digimon, so anything you hear is going to be pure speculation. But essentially, the top 10 cards are going to be reprinted here. Is this BT7? And bearing in mind that is two months after BT6, so maybe we don't know. All we know is that there is going to be a vote, a uh, poll, if you will, of the most popular Digimon cards released so far, and that the top 10 are going to be reprinted. So, I don't know. Vote Sarah's Mon. There we go. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about all of this news. There is an awful lot to digest for today, and we are definitely going to come back to it in the future because we're going to have cards revealed. There's going to be more information, and when there is, you know I'm going to be here, ladies and gentlemen. That's kind of my thing. That's kind of what I do, and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm kind of proud of doing this kind of stuff. It is absolutely up me alley. But for now, I want to know your predictions. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your theories. I want to know whatever you want to tell me, quite frankly. So go nuts in the comment section. But be nice, would ya? And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays. <laughs>